Previously on The Potentialists. Eric was invited to a wedding. I was called the driving Nazi. No sleep, no stop. This pole jumps out at my car. Oh my God. I was like, what? <laughs> it was like The Walking Dead. The way he introduced himself to me, he goes, I've been dead before. Anyone can entertain you, but only we edutain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Get ready to make it happen. The next day was wedding day, but before the ceremony, the team headed out for a bit of sightseeing in the nation's capital. We're at the Arlington National Cemetery. We went to Arlington Cemetery, which was incredibly impressive. I mean, it was just rows and rows of tombstones. You can see like a sea of tombstones. The amount of people that have given their lives for our country is just unbelievable. As far as you can see, you would see how they were all organized and about spaced equally across. Since our country is all about freedom of religion, we have all different beliefs. And people have died with all different beliefs, so they have them marked with the different symbols like Christian, Latter-day Saints. We actually saw the Arlington House. Which is the historical house of Robert E. Lee. It's on top of the hillside so you can actually see a major part of the city of Washington right from the top of the house. That was pretty cool to just see how people used to live and how they were able to keep everything still historical and yet like kind of renovate it so that people could see it. This was made now? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Everything else and then it was up next door. See all this? This is new stuff. Okay. Always gone to the Smithsonian Museums but never went to the Capitol. C-A-P-I-T-O-L for you language enthusiasts out there. The Capitol was really awesome. We managed to get a tour because Alex did her fancy talking. <sighs> Usually tours, I think you have to book them a few weeks in advance, but she got us right in and it was really cool. I didn't think we'd be able to get a tour today, did you? El Capitán de los Estados Unidos. This should be... We got to see a replica of the Freedom Statue which sits atop the dome. The mammoth size of this statue is amazing. This thing is gargantuan. It's like 27 feet tall. Absolutely beautiful. We got to see the rotunda where you look up and you see the beautiful mural. It was really detailed. It reminded me a lot of Europe. Beautiful, gorgeous. It's not what I was expecting. Down below the rotunda, there's a room called the crypt where no bodies are kept. When you walk through the Capitol, you can see how it's laid out. It's perfectly organized. A lot of statues. The way they build it, it was able to work for them then and it actually works for today too. The next stop on the sightseeing agenda was the Botanical Gardens. In the jungle, I've spotted something that's very wild and unusual. It's called the Bertosaurus. I feel like screaming like Tarzan. The Botanical Garden was amazing. I don't think I had even heard of them the last time I went to Washington. It was just really, really pretty. It was a lot of green. It was displaced. It was so beautiful. It looked like Jurassic Park. I definitely feel like I'm in Jurassic yeah, Park. It is. In Jurassic Park. <laughs> but like the beginning part where they're showing you all the prettiness of it before it all goes bad. I don't know much about plants. They give off oxygen so that we can breathe. They had like these different levels. Herbal plants and here are the cacti and orchids and here's the whatever and it was just all classified. Oh god it was gorgeous. Of course, the main reason why we were up in D.C., Val and I, was to attend our best friend's wedding. T.J. is very flamboyant, and he decided to have an 80s themed wedding. Alexa helped us with my flock of seagulls here. I'm at an 80s wedding. Looking like really cool people. The wedding was definitely an experience. It was fun. The interesting part was getting to the wedding. I had to walk downstairs through the hotel lobby by myself, stand on the street corner, and try and hail a cab. Possible to get a cab in DC. I look like some ridiculous time traveler. What can I say? The things you do for your best friends. It was a really, really fun time going up there and spending time with my best friends. It was a great trip. Lots of secrets to share. <laughs> hey yo, how you doing? Check this out, it's Surge from Bowl World. You better like us.
And if you got something to say, leave a comment and check this out. If you really got the guts, subscribe so I can get back to you so we can make it happen with Fuller World. Feel me? <laughs>